Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make a what it feels like video in Camtasia Studio 9. This is my first time doing a tutorial like this, enjoy. I have prepared all your file for downloading. Once downloaded, extract to a folder it contains all the essential and other good clips needed to make the video. First of all, you need a low FPS gameplay, you can record it, or download from YouTube. Now drag the clip into Camtasia. To make it fill the screen, go right click the video and select scale to fit. You may need to adjust the size, to make it fit better. Now crop the video, so the taskbar and window is not in here. Go to the content pack, locate office, and drag the image 1 into the beginning of your gameplay like this. You can adjust the length of your image. Now make sure the image is fit to screen, and fills it completely. You may need to make fine adjustment to it. Because my video have no sound, you can add sound, to make it more interesting. You can download songs from YouTube or use one in my pack. You may adjust the sound volume. I just added some random noise, but it's better than adding nothing. Now find a place in your game, play where you find that the lag is very annoying. Go to the same place in my content, but this time add image 2 to the timeline. You can adjust the size and length of the clip, but make sure the picture fills the screen completely. It's time to make an error. Locate the folder Windows error and find Windows message box generator.exe. Go screenshot the error and save it. Then import the image to Camtasia. You can stop your music. To end the music better, you should add a fade out to it. Go to the same folder and find Windows foreground sound effect. Drag it into the timeline and match it with the error message. Go to office again, find video 3, and drag it into the timeline, then adjust the size. Now you want to search Google for what is love 10 hours and open it in Yahoo. As you can see, ads are very annoying. Yes, I have applied the traditional... Now open your favorite screen recorder. Once you start recording, stop the YouTube video, and open a new tab, go to a shopping website. Then search the product that you want to buy. You can stop the recording once you clicked, add to cart button. Add an animation at your recording once you typed something in the search bar. Once you've finished using the search bar, add another animation that restore the clip into normal size.
Go to my content, find soundtracks, and locate Amazon purchase music and drag it into timeline. Once you find the best spot, click S on your keyboard to split the music track to two tracks. On your recording, once your mouse is on the add to cart button, that's when you should split the clip. Add color adjustment onto the clip you just cut. After I click the add to cart button, it tells me to add a protection plan. You want to cut everything out after you click the button. Then you should zoom in to allow viewer to get better views of the add to cart button. Now you want to extend the frame, so it stops when the music stops. Now you want to add this image to your timeline. Adjust its posture to the bottom right corner, but not in the canvas. Add an animation, so that the picture come from bottom right into the canvas and stops at the bottom left like this. You can always change the length of the animation. Go to soundtrack, find the Street Fighter 5 song and drag it into timeline. Depending on what you bought, it might be a good idea to add an unboxing video. You can film it on your own or download one. Now it's time to add high graphic gameplay. I have recorded and downloaded videos. Now let's edit them. You can brag about your FPS by adding zoom animations to where your FPS indicator is. Once you have edited all your clips, it is time to end your video. Make sure you add a fade out at the end of your music, it makes it end better. Looks like I made a mistake, I will change that right now. Once you are happy, you can render your video. Just choose a preset and you are good to go.